Hello everyone, Dave's here for my Saturday morning vlog, the show that helps me and you get up on a Saturday morning and actually be productive, instead of being lazy bums that lie in bed all day. to the 
fit Iron Man or to defeat Peter Quill or to defeat Madness. He can just defeat them on his own. If this was the plan that would save the universe, when Quill tries to punch Thanos in the face, Doctor Strange could just teleport this punch away and he did it. Because he knew that wasn't the situation where they actually beat Thanos. The situation where they beat Thanos is where they let him win first, but Tony Stark lives. That's why he says this was the only way, Tony. That's why he sacrifices a time stone for Tony Stark's life. Because what he saw in his visions is that Tony Stark, and like and probably some other heroes, but from that group, Tony Stark was the most important character that needed to survive for the universe to be saved. So it wasn't that plan that would save the universe, it wasn't letting Tony Stark die for the time stone that would save the universe. No, it was letting Thanos win and then having a group of special heroes team up and beat him and bring everyone back that would save the universe. And another thing, do you really think that Doctor Strange didn't know that Peter Quill was going to punch Thanos or have like a huge emotional reaction when he knew about Gamora's death? Of course he's going to flip out. Just look at the character's, you know, records with dealing with loss. Every time Peter Quill had to deal with loss, he flipped out. He's traumatized because of his mom's death. He lost his mom. And now after that, he's completely traumatized to anything related to losing someone. He got an emotional reaction when he lost his Walkman. He got an emo he had an emotional reaction when he lost Groot. When Yondu died, and now, of course, he's going to have an emotional reaction when Gamora died. Doctor Strange knew that that was possible, that that was most likely to happen, and did nothing. Because that had to happen in order to save the universe. So, if you really think about it, Peter Quill inadvertently saved the universe by ruining that plan and punching Thanos in the face. So everyone chill back and stop hating on Quill because the character really doesn't deserve it. That was a normal reaction for him that will actually have good consequences in the end. And I'm not even a Peter Quill fan. I mean, he's funny at all, but he's not even my favorite Guardian. That's Rocket. Wait. Are you going to have a Tony Stark Rocket combination of the Science Bros? Bruce Banner, you're up. Rocket is in. <coughs> so yeah, those are like my two cents on this whole Peter Quill hate scenario that I really didn't get and still don't get. I hope I changed your mind if you're a Peter Quill hater. And I hope you felt supported, Peter Quill not haters. So yeah, if you want, you can leave a like below and help me realize if I change your mind or not. If you think I'm stupid for thinking he's not to work. If you think I'm right for thinking he's not to work. If I actually help you get a whole new view on this situation. And since you're at it, why not also leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Besides my weekly Saturday morning vlogs, I share a lot of gaming content, like lists and gameplays, and I'm starting this new project with an interactive storytelling between me and you guys based on Dungeons and Dragons that I think everyone's going to love. But anyways, thanks for watching, see you next time.